Good afternoon, my name is Sean Brume from IBM. I'm a IBM tape evangelist and strategist for the overall tape storage division. Uh, today we're here to introduce to you at OCP the IBM Diamondback tape automation library. You know, one of the big challenges around every data center, regardless of that data center being an OCP data center, an enterprise data center, or a co-location, is that our focus on high performance compute has really left data storage unchecked in growth. Most of that data storage is going to HDDs, especially within the hyperscale environment. A big challenge around hyperscale environment data growth on HDDs is the sustainability in the overall cost. As sustainability pressures and cost or expense pressures drive into OCP and into the hyperscale data centers, they're seeing the need for more sustainable, lower cost storage. Tape is a resurgence into that environment. Uh, with the IBM Diamondback library, we've taken OCP-like specs not actually to OCP design, but the width of this library is the standard OCP rack width, and the depth, depth allows you to plan infrastructure for tape exactly like you would plan server installs. We simplified the use case of this library from the previous generation of libraries, making it a self-service infrastructure. You can wheel this unit right into the OCP data center set it in place, and from the time you set it in place to the time it powers up and goes into self-initialization is less than 30 minutes. With 27.5 petabytes of uncompressed storage within the infrastructure. On top of that, we've simplified service. This new robot can be replaced within two minutes with no tools, simply using your hands, open the door, it automatically drops the unit, you unscrew it, pull it out, put the new one in, and it's ready to go from there. Ultimately, this library can be chained in with other libraries using software-defined storage and erasure coding to support exabytes of data across any data center, while also reducing the, say, the CO2E emissions. How much does it reduce CO2 em emissions compared to HDDs? If you put 27.5 petabytes on a Bryce Canyon using 16 terabyte HDDs, your total CO2E impact is 1,964 metric tons. This library in a nine year time span will only contribute 78.4 metric tons. That's a significant savings and certainly the direction we wanna go with sustainability. So if you're at OCP or you haven't had the chance to see this library here live, I encourage you to go out to IBM.com and take a look at the new IBM Diamondback Automation Tape Library.